not for you. Don't even think about it. Yeah. Back at it like a crack at it. Yep. Ooh, did you get a haircut? No, I just put a little, Ooh, a little product. Whoa. I uh, didn't find my hat, but I took enough abuse on the flat brim hat from last night's vlog. I mean, we could just get you a hat. Yeah. Actually, I've given you hats. I know you have. I don't know. I, I think I brought it back here, and I think it's here. No, it's in your car door, actually. White one? No, the black one. I don't know about the white one. Oh. So we need to make a list. So you need pants, you need hats. Pants, hats. Less um, product. Look at that part. It's the soft part. There's something else I was fucking thinking of. Um, maybe the fact that you got hit by a biker yesterday while you were running down the street. Is oh, that it? Yeah, Is that what dude. You were to tell yes. Us? I'm running down the bike path and I'm coming straight. I see, you know, I'm always looking over my shoulder, to see if people are coming by, and I you see. You run looking over your shoulder? Well, not the whole time, uh, okay. but I mean, you know, every you know few hundred feet, you just kind of look behind because you'll hear people coming and stuff. I have my headphones low enough that you can usually hear people. I see a family of four come by. You know, they're slow because they got like kids dragging. So I see like the mom come by, and I'm like, all right, there's three more kids coming by, and they come by, and the trail's going this way, and they go off to the left because they're going to cross an actual street to continue the trail that way. It can fork either way. I was running to the right. I see them turn left. When I looked back at them and saw the last kid come by, I saw no one else. And he had just came by. So I was like, all right, there's no one there. And I start turning left and out of nowhere. And I hear this dude just go, oh, shit. Next thing you know, I'm like fucking tumbling off the trail, like into the dirt. The whole family, all I see while I'm tumbling is the kid's face is like, and I like tumble. And then I get up and the dude is like slumped against a street sign. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> and I, oh my god, I'm like, I go, are you okay? And he just goes, mm -hmm. and some guy gets out of his car and he's like, you know, I can call 911. And the lady's like, well, we got it, we got it. I'm like, oh my god, and the guy goes, <gasps> Oh, I'm okay. The wind. And I was just like, he's like, hold on. And then I was like, okay, this guy's gonna live. Like, I need to just kill this guy. And then he gets up and then, first, I'm thinking it's my fault because I kind of cut left and I probably should have double looked. But technically, it's his fault because he's coming from behind. Whoa, he's, chill. <laughs> so he's like, he's like, I'm so sorry. This is my fault. And then he's like, I said coming on your left. But then later up the trail, I saw the family again and they were like, just let you know, that guy never yelled coming on your uh, left. And he was flying around the turn. Nice. So I was like, eh, either way, we're still walking. You got any but, no. Mm -hmm. It's a tiny little fucking scrape. That's it. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, I'm totally fine. I just you know, and I've been working out, dog. I just tumbled, I got up, I was like, you alright, my man? And then he was like <laughs> He's a pussy, huh? Yeah, he fucking been, pussy. He ain't been doing no crunches on the fucking, <laughs> on the fucking flat bench, has he? No. He'd be like, Yo, man, why don't you get in the gym and do a couple of crunches on the weight bench? Yeah. Stuff, man, won't happen to you next time, bro. Exactly. <laughs> Omar. Omar, we're packing up. Packing, not on. Not unpacking. Hey, hey, hey! Go outside to your yard. Brand new now that you got a microchip. Why are people anti microchip? Because they're weirdo. Yeah. The only reason anyone would be anti RFID chip would be on some weirdo government, like government shit. shit. I have a they fucking. They don't think it's unhealthy. Dog, there's right? literally I mean, the they... only thing that can happen is it can be reje it can reject. Just like any foreign object in anybody. They'll like, just swell up and they'll have to fucking take it out. Yeah, they'll just take it out. Yeah, yeah. that can happen. It's fucking hella rare. I know. I've never heard. Dude, I, I know. I mean, my dog trainer has all their. Like, every dog I know is microchip. Yeah, I've never because... heard. Like, motherfuckers will carry around an iPhone and fucking check in at a movie theater and Panera Bread and update with Facebook with I'm at the fucking park with my family, but God forbid you put a fucking RFID yeah. chip in you, dog. Goddamn whole world might be fucking angry. I'm not fearful of this fucking, like, yeah. New World Order fucking bullshit everybody's always Me so neither, because like you can't stop it anyway. Motherfucker, if they want to shoot a laser into my dick right now, they could from space. Everybody, everybody updates everything. Yeah. The government knows what you ate last night because you fucking tell them. Yeah. I have a voice. What the fuck am I gonna hide from the government? I don't understand. I'm like, it's an RFID chip. Especially right? when you're talking odds, too. Like, let's say it is a chance that the government could find you that way. Are the odds that the government's even gonna look for you better than the odds that could maybe lose your dog one day and would wanna find How about this? Are the odds that if the government wants to fucking come get you and kill you or hurt you or lock you up, that they are can. you gonna be able to fight it in any fucking possible way? No, you are not. You can well, that's die like... with the fucking constitution in your left hand and the fucking pistol in your right. You're still dead. I you really don't give a fuck. Y'all motherfuckers need to stop being motherfuckers. There's an RFID chip in your motherfucking shoe. Yes, these are scheduled. They'll be here tomorrow to pick up everything. Nice. What the whole Melania Trump thing? Um, I find it to be... Here's what I think, man. 
So before this podcast starts, this is another hidden podcast within the vlog. Um, if you don't want to see that, then you probably should just fast forward 20 minutes. It's a 20 minute talk. So the idea of the podcast, uh, the podcast is coming in a regular form. Uh, there's announcements at the end of this vlog, but I did want to preface this. My problem with podcasts mostly is if they seem to be scripted or interview like in weird ways, it doesn't transcribe as just people talking. So this podcast today, uh, the conversation is just political. I don't have a lot of political conversations anymore, but um, this is one by no means when we express our views politically or spiritually, socially, whatever, are we pretending as if we know everything. We're just being honest and uncut about what we talk about, what we think about in these moments, and just the conversation. So please don't get crazy uh, on a political rant or rampage in the comments because I'll straight up just delete the shit because I just that's not what this is about and if you come away from this podcast with that mentality then watch it again because you didn't pay attention to what either of us said hope you enjoy looking forward to the podcast in a normal form which will be on youtube but into the vlog all that info all right peace because i was going to tweet something this morning and i was like i don't want to be political yeah i know but that's uh, why i didn't want to talk i, I think that the real the real problem yeah is that people let people troll them it's yeah. like what makes you think like she's not an idiot you know what i'm saying like well that's my point she's do you think that idiot. do you think that that wasn't worn to cause an uproar yeah you know what i'm saying like do you really think that that, that these like here's what i don't know here's my place with politics these days it's like yeah politics are super fucked up right like there's a lot of shit politically that's super fucked up and the more time passes on the more out in the open it gets in general, like our lives over the last 10 years, we're more yeah. informed than we've ever been. Oh yeah. But what does that do? You know, it doesn't do anything for you. And now as a, as a journalist, if you're sitting there writing about a fucking jacket, you're just as bad. You know what I mean? Like yeah. people who are just making, ju like as bad as the fucking presidency may end up being in the yeah. end, we don't know like yet, I guess. Like I'm not a fan of the man. So you think she's trolling the media just to get them to I talk think shit every, I don't think it's just she. I think that it's like, calculated. I think it's, I think at the end of the day, any distraction is good for government. And if you can fucking, it's like magic. If you can get them staring at your right hand while you're doing something with your left hand, then that's that like, great. So like, the jacket, as fucked up as the connotation could be, what does it matter? Those kids are still in jail, like, or being held, whatever. Like, yeah. everything that's gonna happen is still happening. So the only yeah. thing that's happening otherwise is you're outraged by symbolism. What the fuck is that doing for anybody? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, people are just outraged. And journalists and everybody else has just as much of a responsibility here. Like, as bad as this administration may end up being, we're going to look back at this time period and look at all these journalists and all these commentators and be like, you motherfuckers are just as bad. You know, like, yeah. it's a really big, fucked up, like, petty ego race. You know what I mean? And unfortunately, well, people's people fucking lives to... and families are in the middle of it, but, which I'm not saying any of that shit's okay, but all this commentary and no action. Yeah. You know, all this fucking talk about a jacket, like, how dare she wear that jacket? And you, like, you can prove all the points in the world. And I learned when I was, like, 14 that being right ain't worth nothing. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I've been right. I was right against Adidas. It's not worth anything. Yeah. So I'm just, like, ignore it. The only thing it really did was I feel what it should do is kill the fucking grunge look. Because now if you're wearing a an off-white or fear of God jacket with a bunch of painted shit on the back, you just look like a clown. Like, the only thing it showed me was that people that wear these huge statements like that, like, yeah that don't have any real back like they can be taken in so many different ways and yeah so like, yeah okay like you just want attention you know like i don't know it's very strange it is strange. but i think people are distracted i think people pick up on things to be distracted by that's my thing like my initial reaction isn't anger or it's just like wait is this for real i'm like is this really what's happening i'm like this is insane and then like i see now on Facebook, it has like fact check underneath. It's like fact check real. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, it's fucking crazy. Like, it is. It's just, it's just seems like something out of a movie to me. That's, I'm not like, I and That's get fine. It. But yeah. like, what? Who's to stop? It is something out of a movie. And it is super, like, it's a weird choice to make. But these people know, man. Like, they're Well, no, it makes fucking... sense. If it's for distraction, I mean, it's doing the job. That's the number one trending thing today. 
course it is, dude, because people are simple and people like bro, I honestly and I'm not anti politics, me and you've talked about it before. It's like the day that everybody wants to take to the streets and fucking burn the whole shit down, you know, like I'm yeah. getting my guests. I'm I think it's irresponsible too, but you know, yeah. not looking for a fallout, but yeah, I don't see how we can exist on both planes, you know, it's like Yeah. The country is America is an idea. It's the greatest idea in the world. But it's not like ideas don't always work out. Yeah, you, know, you think they're going. <laughs> yeah, and it's just it's fucked up. But when I was super political, when I'd get on Facebook and all these political yeah. ads, <laughs> I would spend most of my day thinking about that shit. And as selfish as it is now, I don't even pay attention to it. And that's when I got successful. Is when I stopped yeah. paying attention to it and stopped arguing with people. And I tweeted today, like I got in an argument with this dude who was a a super racist and was like dropping hard R's over and he's a tattooer. This was years ago, it's like 10 years ago. And I was just like, what the fuck? You know, went in on him and it was like public. It was like yeah. a huge fight. Um, and then like a few years later, and he even hit me up and he like on some like brotherhood shit. Like, you're a white man. Like, and I'm like, dude, you're crazy. And I could not understand. I was like, how does a fucking motherfucker think like that? Especially a tattooer. Like, you tattoo all kinds of people. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. A year later, my man OD'd on dusters. Because he was fucking smoking or, you know, inhaling duster. And I'm like, okay, I was arguing with a crackhead. Yeah. And that's like basically, like, crackhead who can't even afford crack at that. So, basically, it's like, why are you, we argue to feel good. It feels good to be combative. Like, people like to feel right. And yeah. even if you fucking corrected someone, even if online in an argument, in a conflict, if you had the best point in the world, it was absolutely correct. And even if that person recognized it, nobody admits they're wrong when they're under attack. Nobody, yeah, he might walk away true. from the computer and his mind be like, you know, I got a point, you know, maybe I'll change my mind. Maybe I won't because now there's a battle that's tied to this information yeah. and I'm refusing to accept it because yeah. if I accept it, that means I was wrong. If I yeah. was wrong, that means I was vulnerable. If I was vulnerable, that means I'm fucking weak. Like, it's yeah. just people, like, it's no good for anybody, you know? And unfortunately, I hate to be like this, but until the fucking flame is at my front door, I'm not worried about it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I can't. I'm sorry, you know. Like, well, you can't. There's mm -hmm. nothing you can do. Right? There's nothing I could do, and there's nothing that anyone could do alone. And until there's like, it's fucked. Like it's almost like the only other option is a fucking militias everywhere. Yeah. And all these like private interest groups, which also isn't positive. So I'm just no, dude. And the irony is, people be like, well, no, you can. You can do it on a local level, and you can vote in these people. But the thing of that is, those people aren't necessarily good. Like just because I might not like Trump. Doesn't mean by me voting a Democratic guy into Colorado is going to up no, the No, it's just a back and forth. It's like and, red, and, blue, red, blue. It's like, yeah, oh, and, yeah, you want to do this? Well, I'm going to do and, that. I don't it's agree just, with everything yeah. on that side either. I don't agree so with like, anybody That's at, my at, point. At There's not like, enough yeah, to agree not, with. When people are always talking about liberal or, oh, you're a li I'm not any, I'm a fucking human being me walking too, on the fucking earth and I'm making decisions based off of the moment in time and where I am on a spinning rock. I just not get it twisted, yeah. homie. Like, I know, I hate anything. people just assume I'm a liberal. Yeah. You're it's, conservative. It's just like when I was young, they're like, do you believe in God? I'm like, ah, they're like, oh, you're an atheist. I'm like, I'm not anything, bro. Yeah. I'm a dude who you asked a question. That's who I am. You asked me a question, I fucking answered it. It's yeah. Like, so everybody just wants to label you so they can con so that they don't have to hear you out individually. So, they can so anything action that you do, they can just label it as a liberal action or a conservative yeah. action instead of being like, oh, Mary just doesn't like fucking weed. Yeah. Fine, Mary. You don't have to like weed. You know what I mean? Stay in your yeah. fucking house, Mary. You know, like, I don't know what to tell you. Like, but the system is also just fucked. I mean, in, on any level, you're, yeah, sure, you can do local things. You can, like, make sure you're... <coughs> I think it starts with your neighborhood. You know, you make sure your neighborhood's good. Make, like, last night, call my neighbor to make sure nobody's car... But, is yeah, that, but too. that's not politics. That's, that's not that's, politics. That's just community, that's being right? Like, yes. So, the difference being, though, like, once you break out of community, there becomes money. And once money gets involved, it's not the same conversation. Yeah, it's you know, like it's politics. Yeah. And anyone who is a lobbyist or is trying to get fucking politics passed with money, like there's no longer any type of fucking like we're not having the same conversation. Yeah. You know, that's why it starts with we the people. Let's start with we the government. And it's just, people just don't 
you know, but we're also still so distracted. It's distracted by news, we're distracted by items. Well, and we the people at a simpler time when there was a lot less people. Now people are anywhere from, I mean, the intelligence levels, the spread of... Yeah, I mean, that we the people shit was written by all white dudes, so it's not... Exactly you know, my it's point. Not, I mean, even racist... And slaves were still around, so... It's just, yeah, I mean... So the definition of people at the time was, yeah, was a little different, different than... Yeah. There's a lot of shit, man. It's crazy. Well, well now we're evolving at such a high rate. That's the thing. The amount they evolved from 1776 to fucking 1850 wasn't that, that much. No. But, like, now from fucking well, we 96 had, to point, today... I realize that the system just doesn't work. You know, and it's really like what it is. Like the system does not work, and people can be like, "Well, you don't vote, you don't." It's like, at some point, if I don't believe in a system, whether people want to say that apathy is the cousin of death, like, yeah. okay, like, but what is apathy is the cousin of death? But what is fucking what is blind allegiance then? And yeah. what is uh, yeah. what is continue and insanity being continuing to do the same thing over and over? Yeah. So like, what's worse? <laughs> you know what I mean? Death or insanity? Tell me which one's worse. Yeah. You know, because right now I'd rather just live until I die. If yeah. that's the case, if I have no chance to change anything, because I've done shit. You know, I went to Ferguson, I donated money, yeah. did all yeah. that shit. Yeah. So it's like, man, like motherfuckers don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and then it, it washes over. We get so bombarded with information the next day. The next thing, the next thing is right down the list, and then people want to commentate. We're addicted to commentary, is what it is. Like everyone wants to like get their opinion out. Yeah. And I'm guilty of it. You're guilty. We're all guilty of it. But at some point, um, that's not. It's not helping. Well, know? that all and came like, to social media because then yeah. people actually. And some people monetize it. Like I'm, I can't knock it because I monetize my opinion. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? I so, mean, back in the day, people would write in editorials. The same guy would write in a bunch of editorials to the paper because he'd always have an opinion. And there'd be people like that. But the average fucking guy sitting around with his opinion to himself didn't have somewhere to put it. Now that guy with just a name and a password can go online and yeah. share it with his friends. And he's got some sort of wall where, he, although he wouldn't say it to their face, so and like, there's an incentive because it does. It's a reward system. Like right? when people agree with you, it feels good. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? When people disagree with you, you have to critically think about your opinion, why you feel the way you feel, so that doesn't feel as it's not as rewarding unless yeah. you're convinced that. And then it just becomes conflict because you're like, how do yeah. you see this man? And then there's perspectives, and then and then it's just a, and then that's the vicious cycle because then once people don't agree with you. Or you don't see things the same way. A lot of people turn evil again, and they like they have the same energy they're trying to fight. They become yeah. trying to stop it, and it's just like, bro. Like I think at the end of the day, everybody's just unique. Everybody looks at the world a different way. Yeah. And some people, I I don't agree with a lot of the ways a lot of people look at the world. But what the fuck can I do? It's not right for me to tell somebody like they shouldn't have any choice on what I fucking do or say or think. For me to tell them the same thing, regardless if I think they're a fucking Neanderthal, you know what I mean? Like, what? It's yeah. critical. So, I don't yeah. know how you fix that. I don't either. I don't think you can fix it. Just keep it real. But I think people have an idea that the world and that people are in a utopian <coughs> like, environment, and we're not. Like, nature is not like this. You know what I'm saying? No, I know. I get it. We're not in it, but I mean, we are in we're some trying. part of a utopian. I mean, I mean, we are. We have a great. I'm just saying, yeah. like, it's not a full on. But you like, can't forget that. Yeah, we're we're nature's right out there. Yeah. We're like and the, from the rules animals. of nature win anyway. You can yeah. have whatever law you want and fucking flood effect. comes through, and it's yeah. yeah. People forget that shit. It's like the laws of nature outweigh all of it. Well, dude, that's the thing. They always talk about those scary situations where, like, some solar flare takes out electricity for three months. Everything changes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we forget people. Yeah, let's see how your two-party system fucking have people like, we well, gotta go vote. I'm like, motherfucker, I'm hungry. Yeah. Yeah, vote. Yeah. I'm yeah. gonna fucking put a fucking stake through your throat. Yeah. Now yeah. that, that's my vote. Now I'm eating yeah. your fucking sister. You know what I mean? I don't know what to tell you. You know what I mean? But, like, that's what the fuck, like, that's what'll happen. Yeah. No, it's amazing. You said now we did your sister. I'm just saying, dude. People are fucking. It's crazy, and we live in it, and like everything's so nice. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I have a great life, and it's hard for me sometimes to remember. Especially, I watch shit to try to fucking keep myself, you know, remembering. Yeah. And at least I, you know, I feel like coming from hardship makes it so much more appreciative. <laughs> yeah, but it's just like, people forget. 
there's a lot, and there's a lot of shit that's just so fucked up, but it's like, how angry can you get? And then now it's certain, you get almost, now it's like there's so much fighting that the community turns on itself. It's like, oh yeah, you totally. can't even be, like people who are trying to help get ostracized out or like excluded. And then that, I mean, that's how fucking ISIS was created, dog. Like, yeah. you want to fucking like disenfranchise motherfuckers to yeah. the point where they turn in an ideal fucking forms. Yeah. And that's not good, that's toxic, so. Well, it's like when they have those, um, like different parties, like, this might not be, but like an example, like they'll have like a women's right march, but then there'll be like a black women's group that's doing, and they'll be like, well, you're more focused on the black thing, not enough on the women. Yeah. And, and it's like, you, I, this is just a random example, but you know what I'm saying? We're two groups that are both like beneficial is telling one that the other's not real enough or something because of Well, here's the thing. I feel like there's a contest, right? People will say like, well, I have it like, let's just go ahead and say it. I, a, a black man in New York, has it worse than a white man in New York? Yeah. Right. We, 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 the two of us at least could probably agree on that. We've lived there. Long yeah. Time. Okay. So now you get a white the guy. Majority. Now, now take majority. Now take a white guy who's from poverty. Yeah. Right. Who has been given nothing in his life and sees none of his privilege. Right. He sees nothing that he's gotten beneficial. He can't see because he's been struggling his whole life. Yeah. Right? Does not, does the, does the black guy still have it worse? Let's say the black guy came from poverty too. They started equally in poverty. One's black, one's white. Who's gonna like get it worse? The black guy's probably gonna get it worse, especially in, yeah. in relation to police in New York City. But the conversation doesn't need to be, when the black guy looks at the white guy, and when they're both sitting there complaining like, man, life is fucking hard. This sucks. I'm like, my opportunities are crushed by other people. The black guy looks at the white guy and says, yeah, but I got it worse. All the white guy needs to do is look at him and be like, you know what? You're right. You're probably right. Yeah. Let me help anyway. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, that's where we're getting fucked up. Like, yes, man. Like, a lot of people have it worse. Like, it, none of us are fucking bulletproof. None of us have, are without fucking struggle in life. Like, even the richest motherfucker in the world struggles yeah. in some way with something. Well, it's funny, dude. And you learn it. Some people learn it and wise it up. Like, I gotta say, like, if I look back at myself... Like, for example, in high school, when I used to try and rap with kids, and it would be a joke. I would say to dudes, I'd be like, no, I'm black, I'm down. Like, mm -hmm. And some dudes, like Diddy and my friends, would be like, no, you're black, you're down. Yeah, but yeah. really, but other dudes would get offended. i go, why are they offended? I love and their culture. Like almost but wait, tribal. But I'll tell you why they're uh, offended. The, the point that I'm making is uh, I didn't realize my privilege. Like, right, they right. were like... Like, they were like, dude, no, you're down. You're definitely a down yeah. dude, but, like, you don't know what it's like yeah. to be black. And I'm like, dude. Yeah, you're, I'm, not, you're not black when we're walking down yeah, the street. Yeah, the and even then, in my head, as an ignorant kid, I'm going, yeah, I am. We're all walking together, dog. And it's like, you're still the white kid in the group. Yeah. When me and Diddy got pulled over smoking a blunt, they basically told me, go back to school. Yeah. And then they got the dogs. And, I mean, they searched me and were just like, get back to class. And they held Diddy. They suspended his license. Yeah, they, yeah. But, you know. Yes, he was driving. He could have to do with that too, but the, but still, there's but, all kinds of shit. I mean, there's all. Kinds but of I didn't shit. realize it, and then as I got older and started seeing like it happening to uh, like more and more situations happening, I was like, you know what? Yeah, I'm you lucky grow up I am and fucking white. Yeah, because, you grow up and you look at it, and you're just like, because I can say all I want. I was in the streets with these kids, and I was doing this and that. But my parents had money for a lawyer if I needed yeah. it. And yeah. that's and that's different. Am I? You know, and you're and, just set up differently. Yeah, and you're not gonna get it as bad. I mean, when I sold coke, yeah, in Kingston, you know, what I mean, they arrested everybody. Yeah, when they, they do raids, they go into the they projects. They touch, don't. They, they didn't don't, touch me. Yeah, you know exactly. What I mean? They didn't touch me because they told homegirl to tell us to go out of town, and that's why we went to Philly. That's why we went to the Philly convention. Yeah, because the police told her that we should leave. So it's like. That it exists, you know, but it's just hard when you when you start mixing racism and classism and all this shit, and you start throwing around the word privilege to people who aren't like you, who have like lived enough of a life and got enough experience to see yeah. like how things are different. You have a recipe for fucking arguments, like and then there's mistakes, problems. dude. Then people just make, you know, then there's people. There's misunderstanding. Like some people just don't really understand until it's explained to them. Like some people, you can change their ways with this kind of shit. Sure. Like, like you know, like my mom the other day. But, but she, also just but like she was like trying to say party. how she thinks that protesting should go down, and I was like, Mom, step back and just remember, 
your privilege in telling these people how you think they should protest. And then when you say that to somebody who has a good hand on their shoulders, they go, you know what? You're right. Yeah. Like, I kind of sound... I think like, tactfully, though, I think, I think tactfully, protests are not, not effective. So my, when I say someone's like, y'all should stop protesting, I, I'm almost like, when is this going to escalate? Yeah. I mean, and again, I don't want violence. I don't want to the ears. It's irresponsible to just burn it down and start over. But I mean, protests. Oh, motherfuckers! Yeah, they make a lot of noise, and yeah, they inform people and all that yeah. shit. But the real, like, real change, unfortunately, historically, yeah. has come from violence. Yeah. And it's just like, I just don't see it. And it's one way or the other, something's gonna happen. Look at this TV, though. How is this thing? Uh, it's funny because yesterday when I was talking about the TV, you know, it was on sale for last year's model, and it, I guess my ego or whatever, because some people are like, his dream TV, my, you know, my dream TV is his whatever TV, and I, was, I didn't mean it like that. I just yeah. meant when you go into the store, yes, you get convinced that yeah, some you, you see these TV brand new things, and you're like, holy, holy shit, this shit's like fucking three thousand, or like they have like nine thousand. Dude, there's TV. ten thousand dollars. And people who like bug out who are techie geeks. If you watch a tech channel, people are like, well, you really should wait on this. You're it's, moving into this next, and that's all. Yeah. I'm saying is like I might you know and it's funny because I think I was anticipating comments being like Teddy bought a fucking old TV yeah I got in front of it and then I came off like a fucking dick yeah like a fucking prince from that's Serbia. amazing uh you want this yeah, that La Chiva spot, dude. That Colombian food. You just went to dinner and found it or something? Was I ran past it running from your house. Fucking banging, though. Like, empanadas. But, like, the plate is, like, a lot of the ribs and uh, pork chicharone. Mm, it's a little crazy. No, dude. It's, like, thick bacon. I know what it is. Oh, yeah. I'm saying as far as, like, how my stomach is going to feel oh, afterwards. Yeah. It doesn't sound like something. I eat salads and steaks. For you view. were hitting me up trying to say you wanted to go there with me. That's I know, I know, I know. Because they have an egg on the plate, too. I'm just like it felt like a lot of protein. I was like, mm. this is pretty but Yeah, it's protein. a lot of protein, but it's also a lot of fucking spice and shit. Yeah. yeah. Not after a lot of protein. I'm after a lot of fat. Yeah. That's where people get it twisted. Everybody thinks protein is, like, the fucking end-all, be-all to the world. That yeah, my stomach is was not like that. It's like all the time I want to go eat something. Like I have like a craving. Yeah. And now when I have a craving, reminder to not eat it. It used to be guilt. You know, it used to yeah. be like, Teddy, you're on a fucking program. Like, come on, man. Like, what the fuck? Like talking to myself like a meathead in my head. And now it's like, bro, your fucking stomach is going to kill you. You know, yeah. it's like how many times I want to go to La Fiesta. God damn, it's Friday. I want to go to La Fiesta tonight. You're going to wake up and you're going to feel like shit for the whole day. Yeah. So I just, that's really where I'm at with it. Alright, hi. What's up? Hi. Holding down the block or what? Yeah. Yeah, you're making moves? Making money moves. Nice. <laughs> oh, is it from France? Like paperweight or something? Hell yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah, France. They're books. Paperweight is the name of the publisher, I think. The last of the orders. Some solar lights. Oh. Yep, it's too gonna... dark in the yard yeah. for Omar. Fragile. Handle with care. That's out. Alright. Now, vlogging in the streets of Littleton. One of my favorite events. Uh, Teddy's gone. Oh, there he is. Oh my god. <laughs> been a while, huh? It's been a long while. Where have you been? All over the place. You're still working over there? Rarely. Yeah, I mean, I work there, but I'm not here a lot. So. I was like, I, we haven't seen you in forever. Yeah, I've been here a couple of times, but you haven't been here. You're coming um, on days. Now, Teddy has a TV show. So yeah, we just, a TV show. Man. Yeah, we Same videotape it. Um, no, you do not. No, I don't. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Can I just get uh, a couple of Tuscan herbs and a couple of Sicilian ones? I'm serious. Nah, not yet. I'll give you one soon. How are things with you? Good. Nice. Are you going to have to go to the filming? Because I still vlog every day. I still film everything I do. So, okay. That's still my thing. I didn't know you did that. Yeah. Yeah, that's why he doesn't tattoo barely ever. Seriously? Now he makes clothing and sells it, so. Seriously? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, how come you don't come and tell us these things? I don't know. I, was just, <laughs> I guess because I'm busy doing it. I don't really. <laughs> I was doing that back then, though. I was still, uh... I guess because we saw you more. Yeah. Yeah, you saw me like yeah, every once a week. We're supposed to go on tour this year. Like, we're supposed to be there right now, but... But we're changing the whole base yourself. Stuff. So, so. so you're, you're, like, famous for your art. I do a lot of things. Well, see, yeah. so if I go to your website, then I can buy some stuff. Yeah. If it's not sold out, yes. It sells out fairly quick. It's, like, not really being fair to the person <laughs> yeah. who takes care of his olive oil. Is we can, I mean, I got you. You want a shirt? shirt? We can walk your shirt down. Walking past old people. It's one of my favorites. They're always very confused by the whole thing. How you doing? 
hot as fuck. Hotter than a motherfucker today. Hey, hey, hey. Don't you know? It's too fucking hot. I wish it was cold, but it really is not. Bop, bop, bop. Jump, jump, jump. I love that when we ship these shoes and we set for the pickup for them that it's always like 50 to 60 packages at 300 pounds. I just imagine the guy's face in the morning yeah. like, hey Bobby, today you gotta pick up 300 pounds. He's in the office like already. He's like, I fuck it. He's like, I swear to God. Tommy calls in one more time. I have to take his route. He's like, Ugh. and the chick walks in. She's like, should I tell him now? Should I tell him later? <laughs> He's like, what do you mean? That house is empty. Yeah. That house has been remodeled for seven months. Well, someone moved in and they're shipping a lot of shit, Doug. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're gonna be getting a lot of shit too. You no, know, and oh, not even off the block. Yeah. Now that we have all the labels, we can finish the shoes. You got a tape now? We're gonna see, and I have some in the car. A tiny bit of like postal tape. Right. Oh, you can change it from you can change it from spectrum to white. Yeah, I'm just calling to check on my insurance thing. Um, it's been a little bit. I said, all right, fine. Ah. All right, they've got their offer. Oh, yeah, how much is that? What do you think? Two. Two. Two hundred dollars? Do damage goods at sixty dollars per pound of damage. Sixty cents per pound damage item, regardless of the actual cost. This computer works. It does work. You need the passcode. You need the passcode. Yeah, I have the passcode. Okay, so it's fuck. Uh, the shoes are packed and ready to go. They are headed out tomorrow. They're picking those up tomorrow. Uh, last bit of rumors and rules stuff ships today. That's on the way. Sorry for the delay. There's a fuck ton going on, and that's why I'm changing everything. So there's not a fuck ton going on, but um, that's all on the way. Mystery bags are Sunday. I'm getting a lot of questions about mystery bags. Uh, you pick your size. You don't pick which brand it is. They're just mixed. It's a mixed mystery bag. Twenty dollars a bag. You're guaranteed at least one shirt. A lot of bags are stacked with multiple things. Some have t-shirts, multiple t-shirts, some have sweatshirts, some have a bunch of shit. And yeah, and you can buy as many as you want. You pick your size, you buy as many as you want. Yeah, and they sell out usually fairly quickly. There's quite a few bags this time. I think there's just as much as the last drop, which was the biggest mystery bag drop we did. So there, there is stock, but you still need to be quick. I'm, they don't normally stay up like all day or anything. Sunday. 10 a.m. Mountain Time, for those of you who are interested. Uh, and then I actually have this other small, tiny, we worked on this project together. There's a, a future drop that was coming that I wanted to drop. I'm taking this break for a little bit and uh, I kind of just, I need the break just to kind of move everything over. But there's another t-shirt drop that I'm probably gonna drop on Monday. And it's just like a little thing, a little happy cry thing. So be on the lookout for that. I'll, we'll talk about it later or I'll show you Monday or whatever, but we'll see. I'm not really sure yet what I'm gonna do. Uh, what else is happening? Pretty chill. I'm gonna try to draw and get stuff ready. You know, we got a lot of organizing to do. Cleaning the shit out of my house. It's finally starting to look like a house. It's exciting and I'm gonna start you know, living, making art, living my motherfucking life is shit. Starting with this weekend. Be on Twitch a little bit this weekend. I'll be around, probably gonna paint a little bit, lift some weights, eat some salads, kiss some babies, you know what I'm saying. Talk to some ladies, who knows. But I'm out of here. Peace. Forgot the podcast. The podcast, there is a podcast in this episode, basically. Um, I don't know if it's before or after this, but there is a podcast. Uh, I don't know how long it is either. But regardless, it is coming next week. We will have at least one podcast next week. We're shooting for multiple, but we'll start with one and then we'll see where it goes from there. But next week it should happen and that'll be available. It's probably just gonna stream on YouTube because I'm not gonna complicate things. It'll be available on Twitch as well. And then also going to, it'll disperse everywhere podcast disperse like Apple and wherever pod places. So, all right, looking forward to the future. I love you guys. I'm really out this time. Peace.